So we are starting with a baseline of Cheddar's history. So Cheddar's was founded in 1979, based in Irving, Texas. On March 21st, 2017, Darden Restaurants acquired Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. Cheddar's offers homemade meals that taste good and make you feel good. Currently, there are 170 locations in 28 states, mainly located in the mid to eastern United States. So we conducted a SWOT analysis of Cheddar Scratch Kitchen, and these are some of the results that we've come up with. So some of their strengths is that they have affordable meals that are in the home style, so something that families would really enjoy going to. They have a very wide selection of options, which includes um, options for dietary restrictions such as gluten-free or vegetarian vegan meals. They also have a really great website that has great pictures, it's easy to navigate, you can really understand what Chatters is about based on their website. And they also have pretty reasonable pricing because it's nothing too expensive for the meals you're getting, but you do get a great quantity of food. However, some of the weaknesses that they have is that their story listed on their website isn't as personal as you would kind of expect from a home style type of restaurant. Um, they also have a huge spatial marketing issue where they're located mostly in the east, southern, and midwest of the United States, but they're really not located anywhere on the west coast. They also uh, have kind of a difficult to describe atmosphere where even when we were talking about it as a group, we couldn't quite pinpoint what the style of Chatters was, if it was casual or more business attire. It's definitely dying in, but the style of food is home style, which is kind of vague. And then they also have a gap in their social media following with their post engagement because they have a really great amount of followers, but they're not getting a lot of likes on their posts. So some of the opportunities that we've identified for them is that they have a great chance to expand into the West Coast because like we said, they have that spatial um, disparity happening. They can also increase some of their social media usage, especially on Instagram and Facebook where they have already a great following and something that we think they could uh, get more engagement with if they were to post more frequently. They uh, could also feature some more of their positive customer interactions and more targeted imagery to feature some of those target audiences that we'll talk about more a little bit later. And we also want to make sure that they have a great opportunity to ensure that all their restaurants are looking the same, providing the same experiences, and even though they may have some franchises, to ensure that the Cheddar's brand will be protected. And some of the threats is that um, made from scratch is kind of a credibility threat, especially for larger companies, because as consumers we understand that large restaurants really aren't um, organic as much, they have to produce meals in mass. Um, quantities, they're getting it delivered to them, so it's maybe not as fresh as we would really want it to be. So it can be sometimes um, something that is a little bit of a dissonance for consumers when they understand that they're not maybe getting the best quality food. Um, and with that, they also don't really distinguish what high quality food looks like for Cheddar's. Obviously every restaurant is going to have high quality items, but Cheddar's doesn't really distinguish what makes their specifically great quality. Um, their food style and the variety that they have is a little bit challenging, especially because we talked about they don't have a, a very distinct brand. We don't really know exactly what the restaurant style is, so that is definitely a threat to their long-term success. And they have um, very little brand recognition, even though they are a part of a larger corporation with Darden Industries. They don't really have um, the same uh, brand recognition that, say, Olive Garden would have that people will know across the United States. <laughs> so the value proposition that we identified is the creation of an inviting restaurant atmosphere for guests that serves high quality food and also values the patronage of the customer. So for the market situation analysis, so we're starting with the organization structure, there's 139 corporate owned and 25 franchise locations. And then they use, utilize corporate structure and national branding as well. So for the geographic design, uh, so spatial marketing is a weakness on the west coast. So they're located in the Midwest, East Coast, and Southern Illinois. So their competitors are fast food style restaurants like Donald's, Wendy's, places like that. And then similarly styled restaurants like Texas Roadhouse, Outback Steakhouse, and Cracker Barrel. The target market is predominantly middle class families who enjoy eating out occasionally. So the factors that attract the, these families are lower priced foods compared to, to competitors, welcoming environment, quality comfort food, kid friendly food options, and a sit down style. So, and we also factored in the tapestry life mode groups that would go along with Cheddar's target market. So that would be uh, Savvy Suburbanites, the Middleburg, and Modest Income Homes. And this is just the diagram of all the, all the different uh, life mode groups. So showing that they are mainly located in the mid to um, eastern regions of the United States and showing that 
there are potentials for cheddars to expand, even though in this tapestry life home group, not so much, but the rest of them, there are definitely opportunities for cheddars. All right, we have three main goals. The first one being launching 30 new franchises of cheddars throughout um, the major cities in the West Coast, including places like California, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, and Nevada by July 2020. Our next goal being increasing social media posts to average about four times a week, and with each platform increasing the engagement by 45% within the next six months. And then our last goal being conducting a corporate represented visit to each Cheddar's location to conduct a SWOT analysis of the storefront and provide specific information of the Unify restaurants under Cheddar's name. Each visit should be conducted by December 2019 and instructed for Cheddar's brand. Usage will be released um, by January 2020. So this is just helping to make sure that the visit is consistent for everybody. This is our product strategy for Cheddar's. We want to focus on expanding locations into the west coast of the United States. Um, this will be accomplished by advertisement of franchises on social media platforms and an emphasis on the style and consistency of the Cheddar Scratch Kitchen menu. Um, our ultimate goal is to remarket Cheddar's um, home style restaurant experiences. Our, um, the loyal customer base is a priority um, that will be further developed. Our competitors include Cracker Barrel, Famous Dave's, and Texas Roadhouse. Um, nat the natural environment plays a huge role in Cheddar's ability to make their food from scratch with quality ingredients. This is Cheddar's pr uh, pricing strategy. There are a variety of affordable items on the menu. Cheddar's most expensive item is a bottle of wine at $23. Their most expensive entree is $15. Cheddar's utilizes dynamic pricing. Over 20 entrees are under $10. The lunch and dinner combos are all under $20, which means they're utilizing product bundle pricing. And desserts are under $6. The Capitol Grill is a high-end fine dining restaurant, with most expensive meal being around $55. Um, Cheddar's main distribution channel is through many locations across the Midwest, um, East Coast, and the South. We have a detailed website and social media, social media profiles. Response to customers on profiles is our priority. Customers can join our e-club and food is made from scratch. We also have twice as many cooks as other chains. So for our communication strategy, we're going to focus on the geographic expansion, um, trying to streamline a little bit more of a virtual brand for Cheddar's, and also trying to grow our social media presence. So taking those three main goals, we're really going to try to apply a three to one ratio of having um, a lot more food to people, because obviously, um, Images with people are very engaging. People like to see that. They get more likes. So we want to include more of those, but we also want to focus on the food, especially because it is so cheap. It's really something that's going to hook people in. So we're trying to um, balance the ratio that we have here. And then for our marketing mix, some of our main messages are going to be um, focused on the Cheddar's experience, reuniting our brand, focusing on the people who are coming through our um, restaurants and the home style aspects that we have. The channels will be mostly on social media platforms that are already established, such as Facebook and Instagram, because they have such a great foundation that we can build on. The budgeting um, will come up a little bit later, but we're definitely going to be promoting posts, making sure that our social media is as maximized as possible to get the most engagement that we can from the platforms. Um, some of the timetables that we'll have, we'll have a social media calendar with every single campaign that'll make sure you're posting several times a week, utilizing those specific times that are beneficial to each platform, which will be analyzed for every campaign. And then the promotions will obviously go with some of the budgeting, but we're going to be promoting all of our posts, making sure that in-house promotions for Cheddar's, such as like two-for-one deals or specials that are going on, will also be represented in our social media plans. And then throughout the entire um, social media plan and every time we have a specific social media campaign for one of our targeted audiences, we're going to have generic metrics that will help us drive engagement and understand how our social media is benefiting us. And some of those things will include a um, number of tagged posts, mentions on different various outlets, um, maybe competitors, um, restaurants, uh, Darden's main uh, Instagram, some of the um, clients that will be coming through us and then also having a number of website clicks and engagements on posts. <laughs> so here we have the Cheddar's budget, and this is a monthly budget. Uh, a lot of it is for, um, obviously, the marketing. There is local marketing and national marketing. That includes things like ads on newspapers and TV. 
um, as well as flyers and local TV. And then our majority comes from our social media posts that we plan on doing um, all throughout the nation. So there is different um, posts for different social medias and that will be again monthly. And then this is just showing how our, the majority of the money will be spent throughout every month. Some months may have more and some months may have less depending on how much um, promotion we need that month.